is, if I've got this right, is paragraph seven. Now, that's the score. You can see it's very, very simple and straightforward. So what you do when you perform together, that you listen to each other, and it's so you're collectively like being together. What's specific mm -hmm. about the singing in this particular thing is that it works through a kind of curious call and response system. So it might take a little bit of mucking about with the loopy loop thing mm. to get it so it doesn't become swampy really quickly. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it doesn't actually matter if you're out of tune, really. That's good. Yeah, yeah. that's very good. <laughs> yeah. no, it's, you know, it's really strange. It creates kind of like a landscape. So is it just making a sound or having the words as well? Word, that's what I was going to ask you. Well, you could use some of the words if you want. Yeah. You can remember what, what you heard. Nice, yeah. Or you can make sounds. Mm. Or you can breathe. Mm. Should we stick to what we're doing for that whole time? It's up to you. It's okay, up to you. So it's Don't worry about it. We'll just have a go and it'll be fine. And it'll Because this is the relatively easy one. It cannot be when the root is neglected that what should spring from it will be well ordered. It has never been the place that what was it cannot wait in ultimate law is neglected has been swiping what should spring from it will be well ordered. At the same time, it never has been the what case. was of slight what was of great importance. As we slightly carefully. And at the same time, that what was of slight importance has been greatly cared for.
I've, I, to be honest with you, I mean, I've got, works. I actually don't understand Confucianism. Yeah. Actually, I really genuinely don't. And it's like, and I actually don't understand how somebody could start off studying Confucius and they end up being a hardcore Maoist. I don't actually understand that. It's a very strict rule. You know, whenever you voice something like this and it becomes the statement and the rule, yeah. you know right. this is not always going to be true. My favorite part of it is that the kind of meditative state we all get in from that, from that like sense of really listening to like almost because there's so much going on once you've put a sound in and then that's looped and then the loop is then looped again through the sound system loops itself so it you have to really strain to be listening at the same time as feeding into the process which I love because I I feel like we need to get to that point in our culture of really listening and really wanting to listen to be part of, you know, a, a collective of some kind, you know, or a collective idea. Um, so yeah, that's what excites me a lot. It felt quite good. It felt, because um, I guess it kind of takes an element of uh, connectedness and intuition, but then at the same time, everyone's doing different things. So it's kind of this having to be separate, but then also together, you know, to make it work properly with, with the spaces and with the, you know, and, and filling in the spaces. So if that one, yeah, it felt quite good. The aspect I love the most about it is that like, really like just straining to hear, straining to not hear, straining to listen and respond. Yeah, and I suppose it takes an element of um, confidence to choose yeah. <laughs> which way you want to take it. For sure. And so we have been uh, colleagues and friends for many, many years now. And it's a sort of a natural coming together. I think we're being drowned out. Yes, I think, I think somebody is louder than us. <laughs> the point where to rest being known, the object of pursuit is then determined. That being determined, a calmness may be attained. To that calmness, there will succeed a tranquil repose. In that repose, there may be a careful deliberation. And that deliberation will lead to the attainment of the desired end.